Good evening, and thank you for joining us on tonight's radio program. We have received news that the newest shipment of soldiers have arrived in the small island in Sulani. There they have provided provisions and supplies and more manpower for the ongoing battle. We hope that all of these men will return home safe. We will now hear a full update on the men and what they are facing on the ground floor. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a highly anticipated and also a little bit sad video of decades challenge today we are saying goodbye potentially to a lot of our favorite characters from the decades challenge which makes me super sad and i'm really nervous i'm not gonna lie because like i was like oh i just can't handle losing these sims that we all love so much <laughs> So uh, make sure you bring your tissues today. Um, I'm not sure how long the episode's gonna be, but we're going to see in real time together what um, what happens. So I'm so excited to have you all here. Um, if you're in the premiere chat, welcome. I'm so excited that we get to watch this episode in real time together, and I'm really looking forward to chatting with all of you in the chat. So let's go ahead and get this episode started. So we are on the base where Charles has been spending the majority of his time and he has been called into his sergeant's office because he is welcoming the newest recruits who have shown up for battle. Charles is seeing that it is actually one of his nephews who is arriving here at the base. So he's like so overwhelmed and a little bit saddened and he's gonna say to Stanley like, why are you here? How are you here? What is going on? And Stanley's gonna say that he enlisted in the war and that he just told his dad in the last letter before he shipped out here or before he flew over here. And we also have Albert who is just joined us. So Charles is like, I cannot believe you, Stanley. I cannot believe that you did that to your father after everything he's been through. He's like, I wanted to be like dad. You know, I wanted to fight for our country. I wanted to protect people who deserved it. And I really wanted to do right by him. And Charles is going to be like, he already lost his father. You really think he wants to lose his oldest son? So now Charles is feeling like super stressed that he's got to keep his nephew safe for his brother. And then walks in Edward. And Edward's like, hey guys! Uh, super excited to see everyone. So Charles is like, oh my gosh, what a family reunion. All of the men that are coming out to battle happen to be <laughs> all of our family members. Unfortunately, I could only have eight in the household, so... They're going to have to be as a family together. So I think the guys are like, well, you know, if you're going to be in a really terrible situation, at least we're going to be together. So Edward's going to be like, hey, Charles, it's really great to see you. It's been way too long. So Edward's going to be like, we've got this. We're going to go in there. We're going to defeat the bad guys. And then we are going to go home to our wives and our kids. And uh, Charles is going to be like, kids? And so Edward's going to tell him the exciting news about Humphrey and how he got married right before he came off to war and how he's married the most beautiful woman on earth. And yeah, just kind of giving him an update on his life. So Stanley's like, wow, so there's a lot of kids back at home. That's pretty exciting. Stanley looks really confident. I feel like because Stanley is younger, he is probably a little bit more naive with how things are going to go. Uh, fortunately, it's been a little bit quiet in the morning here you know things are starting to quiet down um, with the help of the new troops that have come in they have been able to for the time being secure their border and their you know what they're part of the land that they have claimed um, so they have a, a little bit of time to reunite and also to kind of get an update on the plan we also unfortunately have Albert here and of course our beloved Samuel who is one of the sergeants who have brought over the new recruitments, the new soldiers to help in the fight. So, you know, Samuel is like, you know, very respectful to the other sergeant that has been here and you know what they have planned and how they have 
you know, been dealing with the strategy. But I think that he has, you know, gone through a lot of training for battle. So he is also prepared to bring any plans and help review with him. So he is here to report and here to help in any way that he can. So he is getting an update on on you know what has been going on here how things have been going and you know letting him know about the supplies that have come so i think that the sergeant is very happy to have help and i think samuel is happy to be able to give him that he is you know very, he samuel's definitely a country man he has a father that is a politician you know they love their country whether winston is a great guy or not you know it all started from a good place and i know that samuel definitely loves people and loves protecting people so and now too that he has found out that he has children and a wife because he just got married in a friday's episode which i know was not that long ago so if you haven't seen it i will go ahead and link it above so you can uh watch that before you watch this or go back and watch it later whichever you prefer um but he married elsie and he was able to meet his two little kids max and elijah so uh, things worked out pretty good for them and i have to say i am enjoying this beach setting because we get to look at all of the handsome men so edward and stanley are here and by the way i had to cut it because the last episode was just too long with the war but um, Stanley did end up getting some tattoos while he was on the base <laughs> uh, bonding with all the men. So he's got like an I love mom tattoo and he also has a uh, like a sailor girl. <laughs> I like that it's like kind of like old school tats. <laughs> so they have... I think it is so funny. I don't mean to be rude, but Albert keeps coming over and dancing by this uh, mannequin that the builder put here. And it is so funny. <laughs> oh, no. So Charles is feeling super angry, probably very overwhelmed, thinking like, man, my entire family's here. I believe out of everyone, he is the oldest, too. And he's probably thinking, Stanley, what were you thinking? <sighs> He's like, I can't even let Harry know that his kid is here. My brothers are here. How am I going to keep all of these people alive? And I think he feels really stressed because he's the only medical doctor at the base. And now it's not just men that he's trying to protect, but his own family's lives that he is trying to save. So that's very, very scary. So I think I would like to get them to at least all come around the bonfire for at least a little bit to have some chats, be together, maybe take a couple pictures and then, you know, then we'll start the war. So, oh, they're so cute. I, oh my gosh, Stanley's like, let me dig for shells. He's so young and naive. He's like, this is so awesome. We got to come to the beach. This is so awesome. Charles is like, you don't even know. And he's like, this is why we've got drinks here. He says, this is not a fun time. So, so Charles is just going to give an update on everything to Samuel. <laughs> Samuel's really tired. He's been flying all night to get here. Uh, Charles is just going to say to him, you know, like, it's been really bad. We've had no supplies. They have so many soldiers on their side. We've been getting people coming in every day. And Edward's like, well, how are we going to handle this situation if there's so many of them? And Samuel's going to be like, we just have to be really strategic about how we plan our attack. And, you know, so they're talking about plans and apparently fire dancing. Because <laughs> that's what you do before you go into battle. <laughs> but anyways, so they're getting to at least hang out and take things a little bit, you know, have a little bit of fun. And of for whatever reason, Albert's like, hey, I'm dancing. He's a dance machine. Um, I would like Albert to at least, look, he's dancing with the mannequin. He's already lost it. He hasn't even started the war and he's already lost it. <laughs> um, but I would like him to come over and potentially introduce himself, get to know everybody. And he's gonna say, you know, my friend Doris says that she's related to all of you. I'm so grateful that I was able to be put on the base with you. You know, it's really nice to not be here, you know, to be here and not uh, 
know anybody, I'm very grateful. So Samuel's like, wow, we're basically all family. I married your sister. So Edward's like, oh, so it went good, I'm guessing. And he's like, yeah, everything worked out. My parents. <laughs> Edward laughs. He's like, yeah, family can sometimes be a little difficult. Well, welcome to the family, bro. I'm super grateful to have you. And I'm sure Elsie is so happy that you were able to find out about the kids because I know how much she was saying that she was hoping to get a hold of you. So basically everybody has been informed of the situation. Um, in the main office, the sergeant is getting an update on the plans for the war. So basically what we're going to do is we have a mod installed. Um, I talked about it in a few episodes episodes ago and I'll have it linked below but basically what is going to happen is under actions when you click on a sim you hit register for the draft this action will enlist this sim in the military and send them off to war in 24 hours so I'm gonna have them all register for the draft so it says Carson is now enlisted to fight in the war he will ship out in 24 hours <sighs> so Basically, what will happen is these Sims will leave the lot, they will go off to the battle, and then they will spawn back here, and they will either live or die. We don't know who's going to live, and we don't know who's going to die. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on all of them. So Samuel is now enlisted to fight in the war. He will ship out in 24 hours. They all get a payment of $600 when they register for the war. And if they survive, they do get a war pension and they also get a veteran trait from the mod. So that's pretty exciting. So it is under actions. Charles is now registered. Oh my gosh, they're not even off to war yet and I'm going to cry. I really don't want Edward to die. He is my favorite. So Edward is now listed. Okay. Whew. Oh. <laughs> Stanley. He's angry because he got pooped on. <laughs> he got pooped on by a seagull. <laughs> also, do they get any moodlets? They do. Shipping out. They are tense. Albert is shipping out to war soon. He's understandably nervous. So as you can hear in the background, the peaceful sounds of the beautiful beach are starting to fade away and a lot of war sounds coming in from the background. And I think all of these men are still are now like, oh, this is really the start. You know, they were thinking this was just going to be a great time hanging out with all their guy friends on the beach. So Albert's coming over to uh, Charles and he's going to be like, you know, I can't believe you've been dealing with this. Has this been going on all the time? Charles, like, honestly, we've lost so many men. I can't even count. And, you know, the peace that we had this morning was a blessing because it has been really bad this whole time. So all the young men are starting to get a real picture for what is going on. Stanley's like, I can do this. I am prepared. I am going to be in the best shape of my life, and I'm going to make sure that I am able to protect everyone. So he's feeling really great. Edward is also feeling very tense. All of them have the exact same moodlet, but overall he's feeling pretty happy. I think Edward is hopeful that if he succeeds, he will at least protect his, ch his child and his wife, but also it could mean saving his brother's life. You know, in his mind, if they have this mini success here in this one small part of the world, even though the war is everywhere, in his mind, this could maybe save it his brother Theo from being enlisted in the war uh, so in his mind he thinks that perhaps even if he dies it, you know he could be saving someone else's life I think that Samuel knows that the picture is not as happy and realistic as some of the other guys he has been through this before he has seen a lot of his men die during battle and he knows that it's gonna be a not a happy time tomorrow um, so he's just trying to get some rest so he can be on the best of his mind in order to um, be prepared to protect his men as best as possible. So I really want to get all of them to have a picture together on the army base. Okay, so we got the photo. I've got the sergeant lighting the fire. And 
get a photo of the guys before they leave for war. Oh my gosh. Is anybody else like extremely sad yet? Okay, I got pictures, so we're good. Uh, we have to actually get him. Oh, ship out now. <gasps> Should we do a test run on this guy? Let's do it. Oh, no, not Charles. No, 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 no. <gasps> oh my god, I, I accidentally shipped out Charles by accident. Okay, sh oh my god, I did not mean to do that. I thought they were all going to do it together. Oh my gosh, Kate, Charles is gone now. I couldn't stop it, it won't let me cancel it. Oh my god, I sent Charles off to... Oh my god, I did not mean to do that, and it's not letting me cancel it, so... My gosh. So, Charles has been sent off to war ahead of these guys, I guess maybe because he got a call that there was some injured soldiers, and he has to go deal with them. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. I did not mean to send him. Oh no, this is so scary. Okay, well, I guess I thought we were testing this guy. Yeah, well, enjoy Charles's office there, buddy. So all the men are going to try to get some sleep tonight before they have to leave in the morning. Okay, so he should be back like any minute. I don't want to miss where he spawns from. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. What's going to happen? <sighs> We're going to find out. If I am freaking out right now. Like, actually, I'm so sad. Like, Aaron and Bailey and <sighs> everyone really loves Charles, but I don't want Charles to die. Oh, he's back. He's back. Is he surviving? <gasps> oh my god. Charles didn't make it. Fallen soldier, we regret to inform you that Charles has fallen in the line of duty. Our nation is grateful for the service of those who lay down their lives to protect our citizens and our communities. We mourn with you at this difficult time and hope you can be comforted by the presence of family and friends. Charles Dempsey has died in the war. Oh my god, can you beg for his life? Wail about Charles Dempsey. Oh my god, very sad. Mourning the death of a loved one affects those closest to him. Sims can mourn at the twos. Charles Dempsey is truly gone after Edward Edward's ardent appeal fell on death's deaf ears. So everybody's been mourning. It is six hours until they ship out. And I think that everybody is just really, really scared. Edward, or yeah, Edward is feeling extremely sad from witnessing the death of a loved one. The death of a loved one affects them so much, and he is really scared and stressed about the fact that he is shipping out. Stanley is also feeling extremely sad from the loss in a fam in the family. So I'm pretty f sad right now, and I feel like I'm not prepared to see what's going to happen next. But this is what has to happen, and I just have to be okay with it. Oh my gosh, 35 minutes and everyone's leaving. I'm so scared. Where's Edward? Okay, I'm really nervous. This is gonna be, oh, whew. Okay, Carson is off to fight in the war. Samuel is off, Albert is off, Edward is off, Stanley. Everyone's gone. All the men are leaving to go to war. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Edward. Okay, so now we just wait and see. Oh, look, they just. Samuel hung the laundry that he did before he left for war. Oh my god. This guy's off to war. 
And then this guy isn't really at war. I just need someone in the household, so I have the tombstones. If everyone dies, I have that. If everyone dies, I'm actually gonna be so angry because I feel like at least some of them should survive because 50%, right? So if they all die, we're doing this again. I really love Edward and I really wanted to see a life for Stanley and like see how him as an archeologist would work out. So I really hope that he lives. Um, if Albert lives, I know a few of you really liked the idea of him and um, Doris together, so we can pursue that. And obviously Samuel, he has his kids, so. It's really hard because you work so hard on these families and these characters and you develop them and you really end up feeling like they're part of your family or like you really know them. So when they die, it feels really really depressing and look Samuel is like so happy about being married he's on the battlefield you can hear all of these horrible things going on around him and all he can think about is the fact that he was just married <gasps> back from war Carson is back from war how did you live feeling happy oh my god Edward is back from war Fallen soldier, Stanley. Stanley, Stanley, no. Stanley, no. No, Stanley. Oh my God, Edward survived. Stanley, Stanley. Oh my God, but Edward's alive. Did Edward actually live? I'm really sad, but Stanley died that, but Edward, has returned from his tour though he is happy to be alive the experience has left him scarred for life okay albert sam <gasps> samuel no oh my god samuel's dead no samuel and stanley are both gone and albert lives i mean i love albert but Oh my gosh, my dogs are out here, like, really worried that, like, something bad is actually happening in here. I feel really bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Samuel died. So the only one left is Solomon. Oh my gosh, so we lost Charles, Samuel. I literally can't believe that Samuel's gone. And Stanley's gone. I feel like Samuel probably loved Edward so much they'd serve time together and probably died for him. I'm not gonna lie, I'm extremely happy that Edward is alive. But I'm really mad that this guy lived. Can we plead for Samuel? Let's try, plead for Samuel. Come on, Edward. Plead for Samuel, come on. Plead with death. Please, save Samuel, please, Samuel. Maybe he has a heart, maybe there's a small pulse. Uh, Samuel is truly gone after, oh my gosh. Harry is gonna be devastated. Samuel died, Stanley died, and Charles died, it's like three of my I can't believe Edward lived. <laughs> I really thought Edward was gonna die and I thought for sure Stanley was gonna live. Like I had a whole plan for Stanley. I am like devastated right now. I don't even know what to say to you all. Like I'm in shock. I don't know how I'm feeling right now. Like Samuel and Elsie, she just got married. Oh my gosh. Like literally I filmed it two days ago. Okay, so the war, the first round of the war is over. I'm pretty sure half this video is me just screaming and saying, oh my God. <laughs> so I don't know how interesting it's gonna be. I'm gonna end this part here. Um, I'm gonna show you the little bit of the ending of um, the families finding out about the war or finding out about the death of their loved ones. Um, 
and you will see that right after this. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for staying in the chat with me. I, um, I hope I didn't break all of your hearts. I know I am really upset right now. Uh, I think I'm in a little bit of shock and I'm like thinking now of like, oh, like all these plans I had, I'm gonna have to change. So I'm, I think right now I just haven't processed what we've just seen. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy the ending of this video and I will see you in the next one. We all live on time we borrow time our children to us lend here yeah, today but gone tomorrow like a spark fly in the wind we all look up to our fathers all our lives if all is right and we are Drums of war are getting louder. A sound you never heard before. Gonna come to your town, gonna find your corner, and we'll soon be knocking on your door. Someone pulls an easy trigger, puts another. His blood runs with his life And the drums of war are getting louder A sound you never heard before Gonna come to your town Gonna find your corner And we'll soon be knocking on your door So long buried in the snow Yes, here we are Shining diamonds Burning bright